Hi, welcome to the demonstration of shuttling metro train between stations project. Now this project aims at demonstrating the technology used to shuttle metro trains between stations in most of the developed countries. The train consists of IR controllers that enable it to detect and stop at stations as they arrive. And you can see that on both the sides, are, these are the IR sensors which detect the stations where, which are coming. Uh, as the train is bi-directional, so the IR sensors are on both the sides. Then this is the door through which the passengers come inside and go outside. And these are the IR sensors who keep the number of count of how many persons came in or gone out of the train. Then after that, we have this seven segment display it keeps the track of the number of passengers in the train. Uh, the whole system is controlled by an 8051 family of microcontrollers. Then the system actually works on a 12 volt battery. Uh, let us see how the project works. For turning it on, we just connect the connector of the battery. So now we can see that the train is turned on and all the sensors and doors are activated. Now as soon as we produce a hindrance, it will open up the door that the station has arrived and we can see that the passengers are coming in. As the passengers are coming in, the number of count increases. And after a certain amount of time, the door automatically closes at each station. So now as the time is up, so the door has closed and you can see also it buzzes and buzzes to indicate that the door is now closing and now it's going to the other station. Now to simulate another station, we produce another obstacle at the IR. So the station has arrived and the passengers are getting out. So you can see that the number of passengers is decreasing as the passengers are going out. And automatically after some amount of time, the door closes again with the buzzer sound and it starts to move again. Now if we produce a hindrance on the other side, we can see that the train goes in the other direction. So let us produce a hindrance in the, on the other side. So it has detected a station on this side and uh, the passengers are now getting in. So you can see that as the number is increasing, as the passengers are leaving. Now you can see that as the time is out, the door is closed and it, uh, it started to shuttle in the other direction. So now you can see that since the passengers are getting in and it exceeded the full capacity of 10 passengers so the door closed and the train started to shuttle so there is also a limit of the number of passengers that can get into the train and the system takes into account of it so now if passengers are going out so it decrements the value up to all the passengers are out or the amount of passengers going out and after a certain amount of time the train again shuts the door and starts to shuttle bit to the other station. So you can see that there is no human interven intervention in this train whether to drive the train or to anywhere to monitor because uh, it's all IR based sensors and you can see again since the station has arrived on the other direction so it has opened the door after a certain amount of time the door again closed and it started to shuttle on the other direction. So there was no need for any human intervention here to uh, shuttle the train in a direction or the other and also to perform other activities. So there is a great advantage over here that uh, since there is no human intervention so the errors produced due to human judgment are also not there and also since the IR sensors are there Therefore, these, tra these trains will not collide over anywhere and just stop wherever it finds an obstacle. So, this is how the project works. Thank you.